Whenever you pull out a bundle of herbs from your fridge, do you plant your face in it like it's a big set of bums? What's up everybody, I'm Maddie Madison, and today on God Save the Food, we're gonna be doing something absolutely incredible, kebabs. You cannot go to the UK and not have a kebab. Okay? Our man Ibrahim knows more about kebabs than anybody else. Let's watch a video message with my big dog over here. Hi, Matty. I'm Ibrahim Dogus, founder of British Kebab Awards. I heard that you're trying to take on British kebabs. Your task is quite difficult. British kebabs, I would claim to be the best kebabs in the whole world. More popular than fish and chips. An award-winning kebab must be very tender and flavorful. Matty, if you want to participate in our awards, make sure you cook a really delicious kebab. Okay, here we go. Shish kebabs, big cubes of meat. Yeah, that's great. But you know what I want to do? I got a meat grinder. We got to get some lamb pieces and we're going to grind and we're going to make lamb kofta. And then we're going to make some garnishes, some salads, spices, pickled turnips, sure. I don't even think we're going to use this. No, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do, we're going to make some really nice lamb kofta. So, find a good butcher, get good lamb. I'm gonna grind mine. If you don't wanna do this, just go to the butcher and ask for ground lamb and ask for fatty ground lamb. I have a bunch of different cuts here. I got bellies, little riblets. And I got a bunch of little pieces. So we're just gonna take this all off the bone and I'm not gonna trim too much off of any of this cause I want it to be fatty and juicy and really nice. And lamb fat especially is so great. You sick. You guys are in England. You know how much donor meat you guys are eating a week? The same amount of three blue whales. 2,000 tons of donor meat a week. You're eating, that, that, that's the same as two cargo ships. The weight of two cargo ships a week. You're eating over 600 cargo ships of donor meat. That's crazy. We're gonna make a giant paste that we're gonna put over all of our lamb before we grind it, okay? So two tablespoons of coriander seed, two cumin seed, and some fennel seed. You know I like toasting up my seeds. <sighs> so we're just gonna pour them right in. We're just gonna grind them up. So many different flavors in here. Well, actually just three. There's just three. There's not so many. There's literally three. I caught myself there. Do you like spice? How much spice do you like? Do you like it real spicy? Do you like lamb that's spicy? Now we're gonna build this spice out, okay? Dried beaver pepper, ground cayenne pepper, and some ground sumac. Now I want some wet ingredients. We wanna add some parsley, half a white onion, 15 cloves of garlic, half a tube, harissa paste, whole jalapeno, three Hothouse tomatoes. Our seasoning, four big spoons in there. A little bit of olive oil just to bring it together. That's so good. The Bieber chili powder, the, the, the Bieber, what is the other name of it? The Urfa, you know Bieber chili? I've, I've been, I've, this is the first time ever using this, okay? And it's this really dark, roasted, dried chili flake. It's coming through, baby. I love it. We're making, you know, that middle ground lamb kofta. That's it, not too posh, not dog. <laughs> Shove it in your cray hole and whatever, you barf all over yourself. No, we're not doing that. We're making it nice. So we're gonna take our lamb, put it into the bowl. I'm just taking my time and adding just a little bit of paste, a little bit of salt, and then I'm just gonna mix this up. And now we grind. And we just push our lamb down, and here we go. We got the lamb coming out. This is our mince. And you can see it's very palatable. You can see, palatable? So by grinding it twice, it's very pliable. We're gonna be able to take this and form this into koftas. Maybe we should, should I try a little taste? No. No? Why? Let's add a little more salt. Hey, you can eat ground meat, as long as it's good meat, fresh meat. You can eat fresh meat anything. Well, I don't know about anything. I could eat the whole bowl. Mm -hmm. 
You know, a lot of people just see me eat raw lamb. They're probably gonna freak out. I love raw lamb. What I wanted to do today wasn't just some like ram jam, <laughs> smash it together, smash it together, you know, donor or kebab. I wanted to make a little, like it's, it's like I'm a little finesse. There's a little finesse. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. We're gonna make our lamb kofta right now. Do these gloves get smaller? Uh, so now, get your little baby gloves on. So we got our skewers here. So I'm gonna just put a little, oh, easy now. A little oil on my hands. And we're gonna kinda make a little package. And we're just gonna build this out. Oh yeah. Let's try it again. A little bit of lube. Feeling good about this. I'm trying to get it where it's even. There's too many things we can say here. There's too many innuendos. We're not here for innuendos, okay? We have four perfect koftas. Make sure uh, when you're checking your seasoning, don't eat any raw lamb. Or if you want, be a bad boy. Put these in the <laughs> fridge. Jeez, that's so much stuff. We're gonna make a salad, do a little cleanup, and <laughs> make a little salad, okay? <laughs> Off. Herbs! Take a whiff. Welcome back, I'm Manny Madison. Welcome to <laughs> Town. The kofta is in the fridge, getting nice and chill, coming together with all of the flavors that we have built to create the best kofta. A great kofta. But I want something fresh, lemony, crunchy, acidic, something that is gonna amplify this rich, charred lamb kofta. I want just a big, punchy salad. Now, let's make a big, punchy salad. Cucumber. I'm gonna just slice rounds, okay? <laughs> Collect your cucumber coins, throw them in the bowl, okay? Throw them in the bowl. Now, onion. We're gonna cut this nice and thin, okay? Waffer thin. My friend used to always say, waffer thin. I'm gonna slice some green chilies. Green chilies is the chilies for me. Cut up your tomatoes. I'm just gonna do parsley and mint, okay? Mm, 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 mm. So I just want a little bit of parsley, a little bit of mint, but I want a lot of mint and a lot of parsley. Get on the magic voyage ride. Uh, excuse me, man. Zest. Lemon zest, lemon juice, olive oil, and uh, that's it. And now we got a really nice, punchy salad. How are you doing? Oh, excuse me. A lot of oil in there. A little soap goes a long way when we got the olive oil salad. The best thing about a kebab shop, there's one for everybody. Okay? Some people like the dirty, grimy ones in the vans. Some people like the posh ones. Some people like just good ones. You know, there's just the good ones too. You know, for every 10, 12 kebab shops, there's probably one or two of them that are <laughs> fire. We got our fridge cold koftas. Let's pull them out. Ah! And I'm trying to make these like everybody could make them at home. Guess what? Challenges. I don't have a backyard. I don't have a fire escape. I don't have anywhere to do a charcoal grill. You got a stove and guess what? Crank it. So we're gonna take these and put them in on the top grill. Hopefully they're gonna come out nice and charred. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. I want heat. I need to get that heat. I need to get that heat going to make sure I get that nice char. Here we go. Look. Wow. Look at the amount of the flavorful lamb fat that's come out of these. And these are bouncy. Just big old turds, eh? We got some pitas. We just bought some pitas, okay? I'm not gonna spin some yarn. We're gonna toss them just right in, right on the top shelf. The pitas are getting grilled in the oven. Then what we're gonna do is when we take them out, I'm gonna kinda slap them with some lamb fat and then we're gonna dust them with some of the zatar. If you got some zatar, add some zatar if you want. And if not, don't add zatar. Add whatever you got. But if you wanna go out and get some zatar, get some zatar. Kaboomba bango. Kaboomba bango. Yeah. 
Okay, let's pull these out. Woo! Hot pitas! I love it. When 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 you go to some places and they chop up all the meat, and then they just take the pita and they like wipe it in with all the fat and all the love and all the juices, and they get that pita nice and you know juicy. We got a hot pita, hot pita. A little pita, a little lamb fat on there, some fresh zatar. Boom. Let's cut it into. I want to see one. Ooh. Wow, 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 wow. The lamb is so fatty and so juicy. And even with the amount of fat that came out of it, this is the thing with the lamb. You want to put all that fat in, and it still has that bounce. That bounce, baby. Bounce, 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 bounce. Ba bounce, 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 baby. Ba bounce, ba bounce. Just big old turds, eh? Here we go. Let's make a platter. Okay, so this is the best thing that's gonna happen to us today. We got our lamb fat basted, zatar dusted pita, lamb kofta, oh, labne. Are you lab kidding me? And we got our little salad. And there you go. Maybe a little hot sauce. <sighs> Look at that. That's incredible. What the f <laughs> We've done the work. Where's my phone? I need to send a photo to Ibrahim. <laughs> Ibrahim is dripping. Send photos to Ibrahim. Perfect. We're gonna take a bite. Mm. What? Mm. That's crazy. It's so good. Mm. Mm. I wish you were here with me, Ibrahim. 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 I wish you were here with me. We could be eating these together. Oh, spicy. The lamb is juicy. The pita warmed through with that lamb fat and the zatar. The creamy, acidic labne. The punchy, herbal tomato cucumber chili onion salad. The world makes sense when you eat this. The clouds part, the angels of the kebab shops ka -ka! spread their wings and fly into the sky and let it rain kebabs. Ka -ka, ka -ka, ka -ka! All of a sudden there's, there's thousands of kebab angels flying through the skies, dropping. Dropping the kebabs. And you drunk United Kingdom's people. Drunk in the streets. Ah, 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 kebabs. And you get home safe every time. The kebab shop angels guide you. I'm Maddie Matheson. God save the food. Lamb koftas, everybody. Did I win? Did I lose? I don't know, but I tried.